You're okay. Ooh, I'm fine. Oh, uh, well. How much exactly did we have to drink last night? Two, three, four, five times. Oh. Drunk. Uh, that makes the two of us. I think you drunk way more. <laughs> no, I was equal. My head. What's that? Oh, it's eight a.m. I have to get ready. Okay. taking a shower before me. Do you want to argue or you want to go to work? Um, eyeshadow, right? Do you have a date? I hate the fact that you can read me like a book. Oh, uh, no, you're my best girl. I need to read you. Who else do you want to read? So, uh, Edwin is taking me to this newly opened Indian restaurant in town. Oh, I see. Yeah. Is it the uh, food garage? Wait, you know there? Yeah. You know, I was planning for us to spend our uh, Thursday Sunday up there. Already made reservations, but it's okay. You can go oh, with no, it's fine. I can, I can tell him to change it. No, nah, maybe we'll just look for another restaurant. No, something. seriously, it won't feel the same if I see it first. Okay? I can, let me just tell him to change it. Don't worry. We'll do some other restaurant tonight. That's okay. So then where will we go next? There's always a restaurant to go. We'll find another restaurant to be right. As a minister of new restaurants in town, Abby. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I got you, man. Don't what worry. are you feeling like? I'm feeling like, you know, the shit. <laughs> 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 hey, but you, why did you make me drink to stupid last night? Who was I? Bro, I was helping a best friend to mend his broken heart. That's exactly what I was doing. I told you I was broken hearted. No. I, see, I told you I'd never loved you, Anisha. She's the one that has a broken heart on me. Oh, really? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Please, yeah. I don't drop me. Should I go forward a bit for you? Um, yeah, right there. Okay. Sure, he is okay? Yeah, that's fine. All right, then. Okay. Have a good one. Good evening, ma'am. Oh, at least, madam. As I'm a greeting. Good evening, sir. Please, start the trip. I'm running late. I don't need the radio, please. Ah, uh, madam. I just want to listen to your program. The radio is giving me a headache. Oh, please. The program self. You know, we'll keep long. I have a headache. Hey, madam, I don't end the, the triple. Uh -uh. But this isn't my destination. I said I know they go again. What is it? You know they go again. This is not my destination. I'm not going anywhere again. Watch your thing and go. What do you mean? You know you're not going again. How does that concern me? I don't see any motorists using this way. Madam, you go take your thing or make a take and go. Oh, we're supposed to get an Uber. I'll be stranded here. Then how that concern me? Or do you think I care? 
Don't you can't. Just imagine. Look at it. You will never even think the day where you go by bicycle. Not to talk of a car. You call it my car. You call it every seven. I don't want to make a do this like you. You will buy the car. Give me. Just look at the way she goes. Hey, I'm finally talking. Sit in your car and drive off. You will be there. You will be there. You will be You will be there. 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 You will be Show the location now. I'm watching. So much. Alright, should I stick around? Yes. I'll just confirm with him whether or not he's dropping me off. Thank you. Babe, what are you doing? Hi. I thought you were coming in a taxi. Isn't that Kennedy's car? Babe, I'm so sorry. Listen, I swear to God, I left the office at 5 p.m. Okay, and I would have been here earlier on if it wasn't for some stupid cab driver who left me stranded at Liberty Junction. But why did he do that? Over an argument because I just wouldn't allow him to turn the radio off. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry, all right? But why did you call me to come pick you up? I know, listen, as soon as it happened, I panicked, and so I reached out to my emergency contact. Emergency contact? And I guess that emergency contact is Kennedy. Yes. And he was there to rescue you, of course. Well, because his office wasn't far from... Stop it! Stop it! Uh, babe, listen, I already said I'm sorry, okay? So why are we pushing it? I'm sorry, really! See, I am not bothered about you coming late. What I'm bothered is the simile threesome I am into. A threesome? It's you, I, and Kennedy in this relationship, isn't it? I have to go. Wait, 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 listen, are you kidding me? After everything I went through to be here, at least let's eat. All right. Maybe you can have dinner with your plus one. Wait. Listen, he's only here to make sure that you drop me off. He doesn't want to repeat the incident of the cab driver. Really, that's all. He wants me to signal him as to whether or not you're going to drop me off. That's it. Ah, this is really a threesome. What are you talking about? I'll call you when I get home. Edwin! I love you. Say that to your best friend. Well, that's just that I didn't put in all this effort to not have a date. Edwin had an emergency, so you had to leave. Oh, see, but he should have behaved gentlemanly and probably tell you not to show. See yeah. how we have it up? Yeah, he should have, but he had an emergency. 
So we can have fun, right? Of, of course. Well, you know, wanted to bring me here. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. need to bring you here. So exactly. Here. So, yeah, we can Always just make the most out sure. of it. It's a beautiful place, you know? Yes. It is. Yeah, I love it too. Hi. How are you doing? Um, can I have a smoothie, eh? Uh, banana, mango. I'll, um, I'd like to have a strawberry milkshake. I'm sorry, can you take this away? I think the person is done with it. But are you okay though? I, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's make the most of tonight. <laughs> yeah, I mean... When I'm broken, you seem to be the only one who understands Without a word, you bring me hope when I stick out my hand, you're always there to hold me. What would I do without you? Such a friendship, unconditional, beautiful. It is priceless and it's pure. Such a friendship, it's unbreakable. You want more of that? I um, no, no, I'm just be done with this one. Yeah, I can taste more of the syrup. I don't know, I can't oh. really taste like the mixed with syrup. Strawberry, uh, I thought thing. it was organic one. That's what I thought. I thought it was organic mm. too, but I can mm. taste more, more of the syrup. Are you okay? Oh my god! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my god! Wait, where's your inhaler? Where's your inhaler? That's a car. <laughs> <laughs> Ken, the inhaler is in the car. Are you okay? Are you sure? I'm okay. All I needed was water. Thank you. <clears throat> How come you don't have your inhaler with you? How come it's not in the car? I haven't had an attack in like months, so... Are you kidding me? God has healed me. Oh, please. Come on, stop that. We need to get you an inhaler, okay? Now! But can we leave you? The pharmacy would have closed. I'll buy one tomorrow. Okay, well, we're getting one now. Here, no, now. I'll buy one tomorrow. No, 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 no. Listen, we're going to get one now, okay? Waiter! Tomorrow. It's late. Buy can tomorrow. you stop this? We need to get you an inhaler. <clears throat> Anything can happen. How can you be this careless? Jesus hey! Jesus. You don't play with this. Can I have a bill, please? Sure. Yeah. Like, I don't get you sometimes. You look like a baby, you're not a baby. You don't believe Jesus healed? I've not had an attack in like months, so... Are you for real? You're still talking. Wait, sir! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You should bring the bill. Maybe you should bring the bill to the car. Let's go, we need to get you. What are you... <laughs> so, so, you're saying that... Your babe, whom you plan on proposing to, showed up on the day with her male best friend. Exactly. Oh, my. Come on now, Paul. This is not funny. Our man is hurting. Hurting over what? Eh? How could you allow your babe to have a male best friend? Come on. What's wrong with you? Okay? I met them as friends when I started dating Gachi. What do you expect me to do to tell her that what? She should leave him? Yes. No, oh, Paul. She will not be unreasonable right now. Seriously. Yet, see where reasonable has landed our guy. As we speak, he has an engagement ring in his pack. The reservation he made for the date, his girl is currently using it with a male best friend. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> Guy, guy, this is not funny, okay? Uh, 
Okay? Break them apart. How do you mean I break them apart? How do I break them apart? Huh? Come on, I can break them apart. That will make Kachi unhappy. And so, I say what? Oh, so that's what you do. You go about making people you love unhappy. I can't make the woman I love unhappy. No. You know what you're saying? Her happiness lies with that guy. I mean, if she breaks up with that guy, she won't be happy. Which means she loves the guy and not you. Cheers. See, Henry, pay no attention to Paul. You know, our guy is already drunk on some, <laughs> some bottles, you know? What is this man saying? Oh, he's right. That's hmm? right. Just tell me. No. <laughs> no, I think I think at this point you're actually kind of fine. Are you saying this is this not green? So you scream. No. Scream, babe. Honestly, it's not green. Okay, absolutely. How are you saying this is green? Okay, so what about this? If this is green, then what's the blue? Oh, come on. You're really colorblind. Okay, so what color is this? This is purple. This. Are you saying you can't see this as purple? Are you blind? <laughs> no, you're not blind. You blind? <laughs> no, wait, hold on. Wait, no, no, no. Seriously, are you saying you can't see this as purple? Okay, here you go. Oh, I told you to stay in with me and I'm doing this set. I'm sorry, but there's an exception for Ken and a few others. Don't, don't tell me you're going to pick that call. Hey, I have to pick it up, please. I'm sorry. It could be an emergency, okay? Hello? Hey, Ken. Are you okay? Oh, I hope my goods are moving. Okay. What would I do without you? Thank you so much. You're amazing. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. I'm so, so sorry. I had to pick this call. Honestly, it was work related. Sorry. Oh. Now, where are we? So you saying you can't see this is probably Babe, yeah. look at it well. Well, I've heard a lot of stories. I know we all have heard a lot of stories about best friends who secretly love each other and out of the fear of destroying what they have they tend to hide behind the curtains and you know stay in a platonic relationship and i've also seen cases where there is nothing but just friendship you don't get it do you huh ken is an emergency contact not me not a father ken do you know what that means oh Guy, guy, let the love bears be Edwin. What friendship has put together? Let no Edwin put asunder. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. Uh, what are we shopping? Yeah. Okay, so I need some lines for my shop. Oh, now what kind of lights are we looking at? Um, chandeliers or normal bulbs? So I need chandeliers. Uh -huh. Yes. Do you have a specific one? Okay, so do you have this? Um. Oh, this one here. Yeah. Um, looks like we've run out of stock for this one. Okay. But we're getting delivery this week. So, I don't know if you could leave your phone number. I will call you as soon as we get delivery. Yeah. How many are you looking to buy? So, do you sell in large quantities? Yes, we do. Food? I mean, like... Okay, I need a load. I run a 
fitness business. Oh, yeah. Geez. Then, let's work a lot. I'll get your number, and as soon as we get the lead, I'll call you. Okay. It's a very big opportunity, you know. It's a big one. I think you're just exaggerating it. What do you mean exaggerating? You sold about 234 pieces in the space of one month? We were just lucky. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. See, you, you talked me into, you know, ordering for the smoothie blender and you know, we, did, we made a bit of money. And now that we're making money, you haven't called food? Well, I was okay with selling a dozen or two, but now 12 cartons. See, this is the deal. The more we order, the better the bargain. And as such, you know, you don't get to lose your customers when you run out of stock. Because you always have stuff to give to them. No, I'm not interested in Oh, come on. That's really the problem. Listen, a dozen or two is fine, but 12 cartons... Do you know how much that is? That is like 30,000 Ghana cities. That's all the money I've saved up to buy a car. Now you understand me. I really need a car. I'm tired of jumping from one cab to the other. Look at what happened to me the last time. Huh? If, if, imagine if my battery was off. I'd have been stranded there at Liberty Junction. You know how unsafe that place is. No, I'm not I, doing I feel this. I'll you, but let's do it this way. Why don't you divide the money to two halves? Uh, one half to buy like cheaper car and the other half use it to order for six cartons. Look, it's a good business. I want a Lexus. I have to buy a Lexus. That's my dream car. It's either a Lexus or no car at all. Hey. And a Lexus. Yes. Is it Lexus, Lexus? Lexus, Lexus. Okay. Thanks for dinner. I had fun. You're welcome. Are you still angry with me? If I was, I wouldn't be here. I missed you. I need to talk. Oh. I thought you said you'd forgiven me. Yes, I've forgiven you, but I haven't forgotten. I want you to end whatever you have. Friendship or relationship, whatever you have with Ken. Wait, what? You had me. Your relationship with him is affecting our relationship. How? Are you expecting me to answer that, are you? Huh? He's in your space. Our space. Huh? No breathing space. Edwin, we only hang out Tuesdays and Thursday nights. You talk on phone every single day, multiple times a day. Yeah, checking up on each other. And you sleep over at his place? Well, Mondays and Fridays he sleeps over at my house. Catchy. You don't, and you don't have a problem with that. A man who is not your boyfriend sleeps over at your place and you don't see anything wrong with that. Edwin, but you already know why. Hey, please, Gachi. Don't give me that silly tale of, oh, oh um, um, his gay man goes to see his family on Mondays and Fridays, so he'll be lonely. Is he a baby? He has chronic asthma, okay? What if he gets an attack and there's nobody at home with him? Then he should get himself a girlfriend or a wife and leave his girlfriend alone. But he had Jennifer until recently she broke up with him. And is it bothered to ask why? No. And he didn't tell me why either. Oh. Your bestie didn't tell you. I bet that you're the cause. I'm the cause. Really, Edwin. Why would you say such a thing? Because he's going to be the reason why I'm going to break up with you. You're serious? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, I'll marry you. Yeah. Yes, I know you marry me, but not so fast. I want to walk down that aisle. But only in one condition. That you 
end that friendship with Ken. I'll marry you. And we could we could spend the rest of our lives together. Happy. Love you. Who is there? Kachi. Hey. Oh, promise. Okay. Thought it was Kachi. Right now, I just come. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, you can give this to him and. Okay. I've got some fancy clothes in the laundry basket, so you can have to. Thank you. Oh. Hey, Coach. How are you? How are you doing? What's what? Edwin broke up with me. Mm -hmm. After three years. Three fucking years of being with that guy. Look, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You need to get married. She's just 28. It's more time, okay? Kenny, you don't understand. A woman's biological clock is different from a man's. A man can get married even after 40, but a woman, no. Who's going to marry a woman above 30? Kachi, Kachi, Kachi. Gee, that's the most insensible thing you've ever altered out of your mind. For the nine years I've known you, see, you meet someone nicer than him, someone more handsome, someone that will love you for you. It's clear this dude has fallen in love with someone else. Instead of him telling you that he's grown tired of your love, I mean, who the, who the fuck is this guy anyways? I mean, who breaks up with a girlfriend on her birthday? Who does that? Wait, it's my birthday. How did I completely forget my birthday? So why do you remind me? Yeah, you're the only woman I know who doesn't remember her birthday. I sent you texts. Called you several times. You did? Never. You didn't hear. You didn't hear. Send the text. Check your phone. Called you several. I sent a text. Wait. You sent it. I said, Oh, there it is. Happy birthday, bestie. I know you probably have a date with your boo, but afterwards, come around. I'm making your favorite coconut rice and chicken curry. Oh. I did. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, but anyways, forget Edwin. It's my birthday and we're going to party. There's still time. I'm up for it. I'll just kick in the food in the car. Oh, sure. Okay. okay, well, there's wine in the fridge, so knock yourself. Wait. Okay, Come outside. Yeah. Hey. Delicious. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Happy birthday. No way. Yes, Willie. No. You said you wanted a car. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, yes, oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. You want to do a test drive? 
Which Gosh, you, you I mean? really made a good choice by picking you. What, what do you mean by that? Never mind. Don't what do you mean by you made the right choice? What do you mean by you made the right I want to know. You want to have a test drive? It's clean, you know? Happy birthday. Guys, Charlie, stop laughing, man. It's not funny, man. Oh, man. So, wait. So, right now, I am like basket mount, making you people laugh. Eh? Right? You guys are laughing out of my, my ordeal. Is that not it? Laugh. <laughs> 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 okay, it's really funny. It's funny, yes. though. It's well, your matter is a very funny matter. <laughs> Guys, I have to go. Wait me that one. Wait me that one. Guys, sit down. Wait me. Take. Alcohol. Drink up. Forget your sorrow. Forget the babe. Now she lose, though. You understand? Iba, I mean, who turns down a marriage proposal over just an ordinary male friend? Reasoner. It beats me, too. You, you know what So that guy is giving us some good premium deal. That's the only way she can cut him up. Excuse me, bro. You get, you, you don't tell me that, guys. Nah, nah, King. Hello? Girl, let me just call it a constant. You know what? Guys, you won't believe this. The bastard called me. <laughs> Wait. Is, is it the best friend who just called you? Bestie. Yeah, that came from you. Guys, they're really taking me for a fool. Guy, forget this water. I need some alcohol, man. Yeah, that's what you need. Waiter! All of it. Guy, yo, yo, Waiter! Yo, 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 this call me, call me that, man. Bring another bottle, man. Time for work. Oh, please, just let me sleep. Hmm. Mr. Gato will be waiting for you. Oh. Must I go to work? You already know the answer to that question. We discussed the money I saved up for a new car to import blenders. You know that. You've not even ordered for the blenders, have you? So why are you planning on quitting your job? I don't know. I just see myself doing business. See, the road to entrepreneurship is not that easy, you know. You may have your good standards on the sea. I mean, okay. you might not even make good sales God forbid. to cover up. Yeah, God forbid. But the point is, you need to build your business very well. You need to make it stand solid before you start nursing the idea of quitting your job. If not, like you just got me a car. I'll give you a hot hot. I know. <laughs> Let me go and shower. Yeah, me too. Hey, where are you going? Where are you rushing to? How are you going to get to work? Hello. I'm a proud owner of a new car. Yeah, but you told me your driver's license is expired. If I leave that in. I'm driving to work. My haters must see my new car. All right, Mr. Guy, told me. <laughs> You're thinking about 60 now, right? Yeah, just hurry up, huh? Okay. 
Hey, hey. that's two. Oh, how are you doing? Good, how are you? It's been two weeks. Yes. I hope you've gotten over the excitement of your new car. Wait, is that my new shipment? Yeah, I'm taking some inside already. It's looking good. You're kidding. No, I'm not. I have a lot of potential buyers waiting. Yeah. I took some photographs and I uh, posted on Instagram and the response was crazy. A lot of people want it. You're welcome. Oh, gosh. Oh, life without you. Um, life will be dark and boring. Yeah. Look, that's <laughs> That's what they say. How have you been? Good, good. I've been good. Yeah. Just glad that. Yo. Amen. What's the name of the access best for the guy? Again. Wow. Small world, bro. Yeah. Because I'm looking at both of them right now. I'm looking at both of them right now. Let me call you, bro. Two weeks. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll get you some before you leave. Huh? Uh, let me attend to this guy. Uh, big man. Hi. Hey, what's up? Man? Cool. How can I help you? Something. Yeah. Uh, she's beautiful. Yeah, she's amazing. It's my choice, man. Now she's my best friend. I saw the way you look at her. <laughs> no, nothing more. She's just a friend. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, what can I help you with? Well, don't deflect, man. Let's talk man to man. Are you sure there's nothing more? Look, I, I don't know you that much to be discussing culture with you. Oh, Kachi. That's her name. Beautiful name for a beautiful girl. Isn't that line too old, bro? Did I just smell jealousy? Yo, is, if there's anything I can help you, let me know. What do you want? You can help me, bro. I like her. See, let me tell you something. Just, this just between the two of us, okay? You're not her type. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah you, you're not just her type, so don't sweat it, bro. Yeah. We shall see. How you doing? Good, good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. My name is Paul. Paul, I'm Kachi. Kachi. Yeah. Hey, he told me that you said it by mistake, though. Oh, tonight. Kachi, can I buy you a drink yeah, or maybe sure. dinner tonight? I feel like jumping, should I? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, um, so, uh, what time can I pick you up? 7 p.m.? 7? Sure. Absolutely. So, you give me a number and then. I'm call sure. it. I can give you my number. Let me count. Who is your And you are? 18. Okay, thank you. Um, you I'm gonna let that be like it. I see. So, I'll let you. Well, you are fine. Oh, someone is smithing. Hmm. Oh! Today has been a fantastic day. Yeah. I mean, business has been. Amazing. And then I got a toaster. Yeah. Yeah. And he invited me out for dinner tonight. Oh, tonight? Tonight. Like, today's Thursday, you know. A movie night. Oh, shh. Movie night. Yeah. We do it at my place. 7 p.m. Can, um, can we reschedule movie night, please? I mean, you and I can always have movie night, but then this date, it just won't look good if I call to cancel. And I don't know when we'll have another date again. All right, cool. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. What do you think I should wear? Uh, I mean, you're already beautiful, so. Oh, thank you. Well, thank so you. Oh, that's so awesome. nice. But the guy. Yeah, but the guy. Why? I mean, the guy wears t shirt and Timberland. Is that the kind of guy you want to go on a date with? Um. He's not like, um, you know, but like, you know, the guy. You saw him, right?
That was fast. Yeah. Uh, that's why I love driving at night, actually. Fast. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lovely time. Same here. I had a good time. I, I wish we, we, didn't, we didn't end it. Like, I had gone like extra. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you should do next time? She rent out a whole restaurant, you know, and then we can have an all nighter. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. And what will we be doing all night? Talking. Just talking. Yeah. Why? Would you love to do some other thing other than talking? Um, maybe. I was thinking just in. Just in. Talking just in. What's the difference? <laughs> uh. Oh. Oh. Talking is casual. You can talk to anybody. But gisting, yeah, you gotta be comfortable before you can gist with someone. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Makes sense. Yeah. Well, thank you once again. I'm gonna yeah. go. Yeah. Uh, and hold up. Hold up. I, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to ask, but my front tank is on red. I don't think it can take me back. I, um, the fuel stations are also closed. I don't know if you know any hotel nearby I can pass the night. Um, I'm not sure if there's any hotel nearby. Um, I don't... Wait a minute. You can actually crash on my couch. Oh, no, come on. <laughs> no, I'm serious. No, come on. That's, that's not possible. I can't possibly do that on the first date. Why not? What are you afraid of? Why? I'm not afraid. <laughs> I think you are. Are you thinking that I think you're cheap? No, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think... I think... I, I I think society actually thinks that of women. Not so much the men. Yeah. Cheap. Yeah. I mean, a woman who actually spends a night in the guy's house the first night is regarded as that but no don't worry I, th I don't think of you like that <laughs> so um yeah sure okay. crush in my house anytime we can go okay yeah okay nice house though <laughs> thank you Kachi. Kachi. Ken. You calling your phone all night? You're not picking up. I'm sorry. I put my phone on silent when I was out, and then when I returned, I forgot to take it off. You sure you're okay? I'm fine. Was it that you had too much to drink last night? Had too much to drink? No. What is it, Ken? I'm standing right here, yet to try and cast a session somewhere. Why are you trying to be sorry? That I got her drunk and took advantage of her? Look, dude, I didn't even know your name. It's not like care to allow a man to sleep in a house on the first date. What's going on? You can get over the fact that it's very possible to meet someone on the first date and fall in love with the person. Sorry, it doesn't exist. Please, okay? What is this? What is this animosity between the two of you? Alright, see you there, babe. Late catch tonight, baby. He's so amazing. And did I forget to mention he's super attentive? Wait, Kachi, you just met this dude like yesterday. It doesn't matter. Considering the fact your three years relationship just ended two weeks ago, stop seeing him. Did he sleep in your bedroom? Did he sleep on the sofa?
Hmm, ma. Okay. I'll give you your grandchildren, okay? I'll give you four. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. All right, then I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Actually, it's been a very long time. Called you several times, no response. I, I even left tons of messages telling you we've run out of products. You didn't even bother to call. You missed four movie nights. I don't think I'm all dead to stay here and listen to this demo. Is everything okay? Um, yeah, Ken, I'm... I'm so sorry things have been weird between us. Um, I just didn't want to jeopardize my relationship with her. That's all. When I'm broken, you seem to be the only one who understands. Without a word, you bring me hope. When I stick out my hand, you're always there to hold. I'm sorry. Are you mad at me? You're very stupid for asking me that. You see, I keep telling you you're no wife material. I mean, how could you have stayed back to talk to him after I left? But Paul is my best friend. What did you say? You should be ashamed of yourself. At your age, you're not married. I mean, it's not surprising because who would want to marry a silly child who still believes in a platonic relationship with, with an over sex? Huh? You know what? It's been three months. And each of those months, I've had to fight tooth and nail before you could see a reason to stay away from again. I have no more fight left in me. But I've barely spoken to him. I kept my distance just as you asked of me. It's not enough. Listen, I think we should just stop seeing each other for now. Just go sit in. Paul, don't say that. Listen, I love you. I love you so much and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make this relationship work out. Please. I don't want to lose you the same way I lost Edwin. Edwin? Who is Edwin? My ex-boyfriend. We dated for three years. And he was about to propose. But then he left. All because of my friendship with Ken. Oh. He has made you lose a relationship before. And he's about to make you lose another one. I think it's the business you're doing with him that, that makes him still have access to you. Well, yes, every now and then we meet to go over the books. Awesome. That has to end. What? Yes. You have to end the partnership with me. That's the only way you can prove your sincerity to me. That you care about me, you love me, and not him. Quit the partnership with him and partner with me instead. Partner with you? What are you talking about? Gotcha. Can't you get it? I don't only own a gym. I know half of the gym owners in this country. Do you understand? I can market your products way better than that guy does. Ken is very knowledgeable of business. Okay, He's been doing business all his life. There you go again. There you go again. Ken this, Ken that. Are you really sure you want this relationship to work? 
phone. Even if I was to partner with you, I don't have details of the supplies. I don't even know where to start. Then you find out. When you do, call me. Paul, I love you. I love you so much. Please. Listen, Kachin. I love you. I really do. As a matter of fact, I want you to be the mother of my kids. Well, I need your supplies. You understand? So, call me when you need them. Once you're there, we're on the brink. I'm calling. Oh, Ben, I said I'm coming. Yeah. Hey. Hey. I wasn't expecting you. Why? Do you have a new girlfriend? No. What's expecting Ben? Can I sit? Oh. Become strangers that you need permission from me before you sit. Strangers? That's what we've become. Okay. Just because you didn't approve of my relationship with Paul, does not mean anything has changed between us. Really? Yes, really. Why did you come here then? For business. You know I don't bring business home, so let's meet at the office tomorrow. Well, it's urgent. Alright. I want to dissolve my partnership with you. Look, I know that you've been of immense support and help in pushing my product into the market, but I think it's about time I handle things on my own. Did um, Paul put you to this? Paul? No, he didn't. Why would you think that? Because the Karchi I know was single-handedly do her thing and down. Um, that's the more reason we became partners. Well, I guess you don't know me. Yeah, I guess anymore. so. I can handle things on my own now. Mm. Yes. Okay. So. That's what you want. That's what I want. So. So what? So, are we not going to sign anything? We didn't sign any contract from the beginning, so I... I'll just help in you as a friend. I didn't take any profit from your sales or anything of that sort, but... Um, that's what I can do, I... I'll arrange a meeting between you and my accountant. You guys can go through the records and see how much the product has been sold, how much is left, and... Um, how much revenue You've made out of sales, and that I can do, yeah. Um, one more thing. I would need um, all the contacts of the suppliers and a detailed information on how you import them into the country. 
No, I won't do that. Why won't you? You want to do your business yourself. You research yourself. You do the feasibility studies yourself. Well, um, if um, that's the reason why you came here. I never told you. I never told you what happened between Edwin and myself. See, Edwin offered an engagement ring on one condition, that I'd either choose him or you. What are you saying? He felt threatened by my closeness with you. He wanted me to cut you off completely. Instead, I chose you. I chose you, Ken. But for how long will all my relationships suffer because of my closeness with you? Ken, when Paul came into my life, he also felt threatened. But again, I wasn't willing to sacrifice my friendship for a relationship. Lies, you did. Yes, I did. You know why? It was after I ran into Jennifer at the mall who asked if I felt fulfilled now that the both of you's relationship was done. She didn't end there, Ken. She went on and on and on by telling me how she couldn't take the fact that I always took your attention and that's why she left. Ken, this distance is good for the both of us. In this way, we can both explore and have meaningful relationships. Look, after I have successfully severed my business relationship with you, it will be the last time you and I would ever hang out or speak. Can I want to be loved? I want to be somebody's wife. But I can't continue jeopardizing my chances all because of some stupid friendship. Such a friendship, yeah. unconditional, yeah. beautiful. Such a friendship, it is priceless and it's pure. Such a friendship, yeah. it's unbreakable. It's unbreakable. Yeah. Beautiful, it is priceless and it's pure. Change the key. I always find peace right there in your arms. What would I do without you? Such a friendship. Paul. How did it go? How else? We were able to dissolve the business agreement, but then he refused to give me details of his suppliers. So, despite everything, you, you couldn't get the right information? It's not a big deal. We can always get new suppliers. Oh, shut up. You think I haven't tried? None of them have the prices as affordable as the rate you told me can get from some. Paul, we can always do more research. This is not that serious. Sad looks. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what Edwin saw in you. Edwin? That ex of yours. He must have suffered a great deal being with someone as clumsy as you. But I go back out there and get me can supplies. I don't know how you, I don't care. I don't care how you do it. If you like, blow him. Go down on him, however, shag him. Just get me the supplies. How the hell are you? You are nothing like the sweet carry man I fell in love with. What happened to you? <laughs> oh my goodness. You think someone like me it would have anything to do with 
someone like you. Don't you dare speak to me like that again. How dare you? Falling, huh? It's the same kid. Why do you slap me like that? Think you're fooling me? Don't you dare slap me like that again, okay? How dare you? Are you crazy? Get out of my house. Don't you ever in your life slap me like that again? Speak to me that way. Get out of my house. Thank God you're here. What took you so long? How did it happen? We are supposed to have a game night. And when I arrived, I saw him on the floor, struggling to breathe. And he was holding his phone, calling you. I couldn't pick up. What happened to your face? Nothing. It doesn't look like nothing. If not for the fact that you're my best, I would have sucked you. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I'm not sure I'd ever forgive myself if anything had happened to you. How's he feeling, really? Now he's getting better. Everything I've sorted, so no problem. It's okay. Don't to your face. Don't worry about my face, okay? Let's focus on you. Forget my face. How are you feeling? Okay, ma. Thank you, Promise. How are you? I'm fine, ma. Oga? Hey, it's working. Oh, oh, how are you? No fine, sir. Okay. Oga, I have to let my boy with now. They only hang me down. Put the hold me. Promise, get my bag from the back. Okay, ma. What exactly are you doing here? To say it. I'm sorry. Sorry? For what? For smashing my phone or for beating me up? Just... No, 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 no. Seriously, he's not worth it. He's not. Wait, gotcha. just leave. Gotcha. Just go. Gachi. So I don't see you now. Just tell me I can't fight for that. I 
I'm broken, you seem to be the only one who understands. Without a word, you bring me hope. Yeah. When I stick out my hand, you're always there to hold me. What would I do without you? Such a friendship, yeah. Yeah. unconditional. Beautiful. Such a friendship. It is priceless and it's pure. Such, Such a friendship. friendship. Yeah. It's unbreakable. It's unbreakable. Yeah. Beautiful. It is priceless and it's pure. change the key I always find peace right there in your arms what would I do without you such a friendship so in this regard Mr. Nyako here happens to be like the least shareholder hmm. yeah. I think I'd like to quit my job The last time we had that conversation was like six months ago. Ken, I know you think that I'm not ready, but I swear I've never been more ready. The contrary, I think you're ready. Yeah, you are ready. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's you. <laughs> that means a lot. Yeah. So, these are some of the some familiar names you might probably know. Yeah, what about this one? Uh, this one, more like, uh... You have to pick it up. Pick you know what she's going to talk about, I'm tired. But you can't ignore her. Just pick it up. You know what she has to say. Hello, Mom. I'm good. I'm, I'm perfect. How are you? I ran into Benjamin's mother. She told me Benjamin said uh, you were hospitalized over a month ago. Oh, Mom, I'm, I'm very well. Thank you. You don't have to worry. My own son nearly lost his life. Yet I'm the last person to know. Mom, please calm down, okay? I'm sorry. I'm calm down now. I am. Have you found a wife yet? Why are you changing the topic? I said I'm sorry. Okay? Don't change the topic. I said I'm okay. The answer you give me. I forgive you or not. So tell me, have you found a wife? Yes. She's even sitting right beside me. I don't believe you. Then let me speak to her myself. <clears throat> Good afternoon, Ma. Hey. Hey. So it's true. There we go. Did you hear her voice? Yes, yeah, so I want more thing. What? I have a surprise waiting for you. Power. 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 Mom. Hey. What are you doing? Hey, Mom. Uh, what are you doing here? To see my son, of course. See, the way Benjamin's mother talked about the illness, I immediately rushed over. I'm sorry, Mom. Oh, God. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gladys. Yes. The girl I brought for you to marry. Hi, Mom. Uh, but, see, but uh, uh, you don't have to worry, eh? Since you have decided to do the right thing, you have nothing to worry about. Eh? Uh, uh, Gladys. Take this money. Return home. Tell your mother that we can no longer proceed on what we discuss on. Mama, I don't want to take care of my mama. Don't look quiet. Don't, 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 don't. Take this money and I'll leave you. Baby, baby, come give me my bag. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. What do you have? Hey. 
You're welcome. Uh, how was your journey? Oh, it wasn't that stressful. Oh, pretty well, not at all. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Let me show you to your room so you can freshen up and then I'll bring you something to eat. The room? No, 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 not now. I would like to have a word with you first. Oh, yeah. With me? Uh-huh. Hey, Gachi. Okay, uh, um, ha ha have a seat. Thank you. Eh? <laughs> so, it finally happened. You two have decided to see the love. <laughs> Yay! When I heard a voice, I doubted. But now, I'm finally convinced. Kachi, you are welcome to the family. And I always wanted you to be my daughter-in-law. For a very longest time. Mm. <sighs> She's not my girlfriend. Will you stop pretending? Um, Your secret is now in the open. <laughs> eh? <laughs> eh, Kachi? You can now show me to my room so that you can feed me with all the gist on how the two of you eventually decided to become husband and wife, not the best friend they used to be. <laughs> Take me to my room. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Hey. This has been one hell of a day. Yeah, I mean, we set out to be a simple, harmless lie. It's not a spider web. <laughs> and now your mom is convinced we're dating. Dating my ass. She's literally refused to let me go home, and now I'm stuck here with you. You know, I. I think it's time I find me a woman. Yeah, after the major attack, I, I give it a thought, you know? I've been thinking maybe I should settle down, have kids. Tomorrow is not promised for someone like me with severe asthmatic conditions. A woman ask is in a car. Uh, tell me about it. The men are even worse. Maybe we haven't been looking at the right places. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. So tell me, what's your what's your preference or what's like qualities, I mean characteristics of your future husband, you know, what do you look out for? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> really? I mean, I just want a man who loves me. Just loves me for all of me. Love isn't Everything, bestie. What about you? What are the qualities you look for in a woman? Okay. So, assignment for both of us. Mm -hmm. You write down the qualities of what you look out for in your, in your mind, and I'll do the same. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Okay. Deal. 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 <laughs> um, I'm sure mine is going to be a very short list. For real? Ah. Uh, the like short men? No, it will be a short oh, list. Oh, short list. Okay. <laughs> Not short men. Oh, heck no. <laughs> okay, I mean, because everything about them is short. Oh, yeah. uh, whatever. Good night. Good night, Destiny. <laughs> Where are you up to? I'm going to hang out with the boys. And leave your mother and your bride to be in the kitchen alone. Mama, I don't belong to the kitchen, you know. Son, I raised you better than this. Excuse me.
I can kick him from his house, right? Yeah, he's a boss. Two <laughs> uh, six. Uh -huh. two, six. Wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. No, it's crap. It's not good. You're coming all the way. Okay, six and five. Okay, Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. You play six. It's the end of a game. Thank you. Far <laughs> <laughs> too kind. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, it's okay. It's alright. It's alright. Still on the food. For the records, I just beat her. Put it down. That's because I didn't bring my A game. So bring your A game now. Let's go again. Which one do you want? The one red? No. Huh? Green. You take green. Who has always been my color? Perfect. That's for six. That was six. That's for six. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, 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 Mm -hmm. What's inside? What do you order for? Okay, so we have this new recipe at um, elephant feet and um, calf testicles. It tastes good, right? Are you being serious? Oh, oh. So they have that in Ghana? Yeah. It's a new thing in China. Hopefully, a lot of people will personalize it. Mm -hmm. Actually good. You're the grand hands for these elephants. Yeah. From Kenya, Nairobi. And then they bring them here. Mm -hmm. And they don't use anything but their teeth. That's what they're interested in. Do you feel anything crunchy? Yes. That's a funny thing, no? And maybe they, they kind of um Or maybe you should just block him. That way he won't call you again. I could teach you how to do it. Tight. I'll take it down a little. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Much better. Ah, it's okay. okay. Ah, God will answer prayers. Mm -hmm. I thank God that I have finally opened Kennedy's eyes to see that God did not create Ma to be alone. Mm -hmm. Thank you too for giving me a chance. 
You're welcome, Auntie. That reminds me, I spoke to your mother last night. I told her about our long time prayers of our children getting married. Wait, you spoke with my mom? Yes, I did. We have fixed the date for introduction for next month. Felicia! Uh, have I said anything wrong here? What did you do? I only told her, uh, 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 I told Agnes our children are getting married. What? There's nothing too wrong with it. What have I said wrong? I am going. Hey, stop, stop, stop crying, okay? You know how my mom is. She's already been on my neck about this bring a husband home thing. And now she just, auntie just raised her hopes up by telling her this. Look, um, I took the blame, okay? I'm to be blamed for all of this. If I hadn't lied to my mom about this, all this won't be happening. I'm sorry. Maybe it is time to just, just say the truth and be free. Once you tell her it was aroused, she'll call my mom. So what do we do then? Okay. Maybe I will, um, I'll find me a girlfriend and to this to my mom. And I'll tell her this whole time we're just doing role playing. I think that will ease the tension. That doesn't even make any sense. Imagine it, okay. You get a man, I get a woman. We introduce them to our respective parents. And um, if they ask about a relationship, we just tell them we weren't compatible. That's it. Now, while I think this sounds like a very good idea, in theory it is not. Because, tell me, how are we going to find new partners? Okay, something you don't know. There's something called fast track dating. Fast track dating? Yeah. Where? We can get someone to date, like now, now. It works, yeah, so I can, I can help with it. Interesting. Yeah, that's cool. Nothing I've even heard of this. You know, you're not really out there. You know? My goodness, this feels so weird. Yeah, this chill. This is my first time. My first online dating. I just hope I get through it. I hope you don't mean to cycle back. <laughs> no, you won't. I mean, that's always the first time of doing stuff. That's why we chose this venue. We chose the place where, you know, I can monitor what goes on. I mean, our tables are close to each other, just in case it's a serial killer. That's true. Just keep your eye. Yeah. Table. 247, man, I'm watching. Wow. Thank you. Looks like your man is coming. Where? Oh, that's what we're <clears throat> Hi. Hello, Peter. Derek, right? Um, Finna, right? Finna? No, my name is Kachi. Oh, Kachi. My pleasure meeting you. Same here. Don't you want to sit? Uh, no. Um, this restaurant is in my style. Can we go somewhere more lively? Somewhere like... Oh. My hotel room? Your hotel room? 
that's your more lively place. Yeah, at least. Uh, Excuse me. Hey, 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 hey. Ex what are you? Hey, big man. Take your filthy hands off me. And uh, who the hell are you? I'm the guy who can literally break your jaw in two seconds. Uh, really? Uh, who is she to you? Did you love her? Oh, man, you can have her all for yourself. But after all, she's not that pretty. No, you're lying. Get out. But then. <laughs> <laughs> she's lying. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Sure. Yeah, can you imagine? He almost touched my boots. Oh, you want me to break his... No, 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 it's okay, it's okay, it's fine. <laughs> sure? Yeah, thank okay. you, thank you for the rescue. I got you, man. Do you want to scoot over? Oh, you're good there. I just want to chill and see if my... Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, she's I forgot about that, yeah. yeah. Mm. She's kind of running late. I can see her, yeah. Oh, I, can, I can see her. There she is. Hi. <clears throat> okay. Hey, Shay. Hi. Shay, you right? Yeah. You look stunning. Thank you. This guy was so broke, I had to pay the bill. Hmm. I hope that's not the same case here. No, I can foot the bills. I can foot any bill, as a matter of fact. Oh, wow. You say that so boldly. Are you Dangote's son or something? No, just a regular businessman. And I, I'm into electricals. I own two shops and uh, four warehouses. Oh, wow, incredible. Hmm. Where do you meet Dini Sika? Where do you know Nasika? Huh? Do you speak tree? Sorry? You speak tree? Yeah, I do. And I can write as well, I speak tree. Oh, my God, I am so sorry. No, you have to be sorry. <laughs> Hmm. Wait, but why are you getting up? Because I don't do with gold diggers. Wait, what kind of sick game is this? What are you talking about? Oh, you think I didn't see the way you two were looking at each other? What are you saying? Yeah, what are you talking about? Are you a couple? I mean, what kind of sick, weird game is this? You must be mistaken. Well, Medi will seek a pa. Make try a picture, Wait. Hey, hey what is that? Doing? Stop, stop it. Hey. Make try a picture. <laughs> this guy is crazy. Huh? What's the problem? I don't know, man. How do you come around taking pieces exactly. of people? Who does that? Wait, but I didn't get it. What is she Maybe she's into advertising or something. <laughs> she wants to advertise your hats. <laughs> Maybe that's what, she... <laughs> yeah, that's what she wants to do. <sighs> this has been one hell of a crazy night. I know. This just it, it just didn't go well. But I have a feeling it's about to get worse. Really? I don't know, but that's the feeling I get. Oh wow. Are you You're okay like don't let it get worse. I'm okay, I'm fine. Mm, shall we? Yeah, we shall, yeah, mm. sure. What a day. I think we've had enough for tonight. Okay. Wait, have you paid for the bill? We'll do that after your blood pressure. Talk to my friend that way. Oh, he can speak to him however he wants to. And you, Edwin, I talk highly of you. And this is what you do to get back at me. What are you talking about? What's what going I, on here? What am I talking about? Don't act like he didn't send this guy to punish me. Oh, what you do? God. This babe humiliated. You understand? So I wooed her make her pay by trying to create division between them. Do I need to you? What? You love the part that you conveniently try to steal a business and beat her up. Are you an animal? Just... Okay, 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 what's that you like? Oh, friend.
Mai uite ne cred. Uh-huh. Yes. That's really good. I hope you like the food. You made it more than you. Yeah. It's nice. So with these big onions. I'm enjoying it. Well, I put the reason cut in my share to your class. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How come you cheese so tough? I'm a village woman. I like it hot. I was we couldn't see any better on it. Was it I prepared ours yesterday? Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not nice. You think because I'm for the village, I don't know how to make uh, bread and egg. I don't think you know how to make omelette. Do you know what? They don't say omelette, they say egg. Okay. Oh. Mm. Fowl. Cocoa is fowl. It is kosia. 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 Oh, beautiful. Mm-hmm. I'm just a village woman. Mm-hmm. Oh, classic. Because that's what you're mom, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I didn't say, of course I know about her. You've been cooking for us in some of the cakes and the cooking day and all. Mm-mm. Hmm. Cooking is too heavy for this night. Okay, ma. This is good for the night. Oh, Kachi. Hi, Ken. Hi. Hi, Kachi. I am I am really sorry about it all the time. Please. I'm, I'm sorry too. My choices were really unfair to you, but honestly, you are a great partner. Yeah, but all of that is in the past now. I'm sure if you'd ask me that question this time around, I'll give you a favorable answer. I still do care about you, but I can't stand sharing you with another man a second time. Edwin, for the millionth time, Ken and I are just friends, okay? I don't have feelings for him. He doesn't have feelings for me. We're just friends. That's it. Well, that is how you feel. But how about how he feels? Hmm? I quite remember vividly one of our game nights. He was tipsy and he confessed that he has always been in love with you after he rescued you from the hands of one man that was maltreating you during your national service days. And I see he hasn't even manned up enough to tell you how he feels about enough. you. Enough! Enough of that, okay? Yo, I see you haven't still manned up enough to tell her how you feel about her instead of you hiding behind the curtains of friendship. Yo, man up, man. Let's do this. Do you love me? Cut you, I Answer the damn question. Of course I do love you. How? For how long? I don't know exactly when, but I, I just woke up one day and I felt like I wanted more than just a platonic friendship. Oh my gosh. So... Here I was thinking everyone was obnoxious about the concept of opposite friendship. But I guess I was the one that was blind the entire time. Look, I I just couldn't tell you because, you know, you were in one relationship or the other. And I didn't know how you were going to, you know, feel about it. Feel about you? Of course I have no fucking feelings for you. You played me. You 
Don't think because you're an adult you can be wasting food anyhow. I told you I was not hungry. I've been asking you since I refuse to say anything. Rather, you skip work and choose to lock yourself indoor and continue playing that stupid game of yours. It's catchy, right? Is it not you I'm talking to? It's catchy. I told her I was feeling that I, I profess my love to her and she just threw my love back at my face. And so? She said no, mom. She said no, no. That's what she said. <laughs> Man, little rejection. The emotion jumps out. Oh, I'm heartbroken. It's not funny. <laughs> Broken heart. <laughs> Come on, son. Tell me something. Tell me something. I'm listening. Tell me more. I'm coming. Oh my gosh. Gachi. <laughs> How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Wow. So good to see you again. Yeah, so good to see we you. We have missed you. Come here, come here. Sit down. Thank you. Yeah. Huh. I've been waiting to see this face again. Oh, wow. Hey, Gachi. <laughs> we really missed you. Me too. I You're really looking good. You. Oh, thank I you. You. <laughs> you too. Oh my God. I'm so happy to see you again. Oh. Just feel at home. Let me quickly finish what I'm cooking. I'll be right back. Is that? I'll be when you're preparing. Your nostril is very sharp. It's a big one. Hi! <laughs> Do you care to join me? Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Kachi. He's not coming soon. What really is the issue here? There's no issue, Auntie. We just realized that we're not compatible for each other. That's it. I know everything. Kennedy told me everything. The pretense. The fallout. Everything. Do you see Kennedy becoming more than a friend? What then is the issue? We'll only be fooled in the narrative that a grown adult, man and woman, cannot have a platonic friendship. I don't want that. In essence, you are concerned on pleasing people rather than pleasing yourself. Hmm? One thing with you young people, 
is that you fail to understand the meaning of love and marriage. It's all about friendship. Not all are lucky to marry their friends. In you and Kennedy's case, you should rather be glad because you are friends. It makes your relationship more easier. Auntie, I don't think Ken is in that me. Why don't we find out? Come on. Get up. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. He told me he's gone to work. I lied. I don't lie sometimes. He hasn't gone to work for one week now. Unbelievable. Hi. Caught you? Ken. Mm -hmm. My son. Why did she lock the door? Why are you here? It appears my secret is out of the bag. Look, I can't hold back my feelings anymore and pretend I don't love you. I've been thinking. I don't know if what exactly I feel for you is love, but one thing for a fact, I can't imagine my life without you as my friend. Oh, I get it. So you've permanently put me in a friend zone. What's your list? Ken, that night after the restaurant, I did a lot of thinking. Now, I know the news of you having feelings for me came as a shock, but it got me really thinking. I pondered over it and I realized that this feeling that you have it's not only one-sided. So, why didn't you take your call? Because I was afraid. I thought I'd mess things up with the way I reacted. Until Auntie Felicia called and insisted I came over. And I was afraid of meeting you. But now being here in this room, where I spent countless nights, and I see why I practically was so comfortable living here. Ken, you are the embodiment of all I want in a man. I don't believe you. Mom put you up to this, right? Let me tell you about my list. First of all, I need a man to be caring. And that's you. Kind-hearted. That's you, Ken. Very thoughtful and a good cook. That's you. Wow. Funny enough, um... Wait, so, is it like, um... This is the list for... What you expect to see in your future husband? Well, actually, there's more, but it won't be necessary. In a nutshell, all I want to say is you're literally all I want in a man. Yes. You have all the qualities. Funny enough, all the qualities I put down on my list is what I saw in you.
I'm going to sound a bit weird, but I'm I'm scared. I don't want to lose you as a friend. Yeah, and the thought of fear holding me back until I lose you even makes it scary. I do love you. I can't suppress my feelings anymore. But then I just, just don't want to be a friend. I just don't want to be a bestie. I want to be part of your life, you know. I want you to be my life partner. Look, I can assure you everything is going to be rosy, but um, if I loved you a thousand times as a normal friend, imagine how I'm going to love you if you're my partner. I do love you. Are you smiling? Because that's mm -hmm. the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Oh, sorry, 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 I'm sorry. No, wait, what was that? <laughs> Were you aiming for a kiss? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry for that. It's a nice set. Okay. You see, love can be right before us. And we still miss it. Because we are just too afraid to voice out our innermost thoughts. Nothing comes out of fear, just failure. Enough of plenty talks. Remember, you have wedding introduction in two weeks. What? Mom, look, we just started dating now, like now. Nonsense. What is there to date again? Dating is getting to know someone. You two already knew each other. Well enough. But still. No, but we eat first and worry little. When I'm down, this could be some down. Okay. I always find peace right there in your arms. What would I do without you? Such a friendship. Such a friendship. Unconditional. Beautiful. It is priceless and it's your such a friend. Okay, Ken, hey. Everything. How are you doing? Yeah, great. What's up? See you. Cool. Uh I don't see Kachi. I I see the things didn't quite work out with you guys. Uh yeah. you know, she she you guys listen sometimes and there's some things are better left. It's friendship. You see, Kachi and I have gone through a lot of storm and that it has solidified our friendship. There's nothing that can undermine our friendship. Yeah. You know? By the way, um, we're having our white wedding next, uh, next week. We, we, we. Kachi and I are having our white wedding. Yo, Kachi, oh, you met someone? Oh. No, no, no. I mean, Kachi and I. We are getting married. I've already engaged there. Uh... Oh, yeah, it might come as a shock, but I mean, it's happening. But how have you been holding on? Yeah, I'm good. I, I've been, um, I've been, I've been around, you know. Hi. Hey, baby. Ready to go? Yeah, I'm good. I'll just bring him up to speed about our white wedding. Oh, okay. So I'll just send you invitation when uh, we get ready.
Shut up. 